Hello and welcome back to Electrology, your go-to channel for all things related to electrical engineering and protection systems. Today we have an exciting topic to delve into, differential protection. But before we jump into that, I'd like to remind our viewers to check out our previous videos on transformers and restricted earth fault protection. These videos lay the groundwork for understanding differential protection and are essential for a comprehensive knowledge of power system protection. So, if you haven't seen them yet, be sure to give them a watch after this video. Differential protection is a sophisticated technique used to protect transformers, generators, motors, and other valuable equipment in power systems. In this video, we'll cover everything you need to know about differential protection, including its principles, applications, and advantages. Principle of differential protection scheme is one simple conceptual technique. The differential relay actually compares between primary current and secondary current of power transformer. If any unbalance found in between primary and secondary currents, the relay will actuate and inter-trip both the primary and secondary circuit breaker of the transformer. Suppose you have one transformer which has primary rated current IP and secondary current IS. If you install CT of ratio IP by 1 ampere at the primary side and similarly, CT of ratio IS by 1 ampere at the secondary side of the transformer. The secondaries of these both CTs are connected together in such a manner that secondary currents of both CTs will oppose each other. In other words, the secondaries of both CTs should be connected to the same current coil of a differential relay, in such an opposite manner, that there will be no resultant current in that coil in a normal working condition of the transformer. But if any major fault occurs inside the transformer, due to which the normal ratio of the transformer disturbed, then the secondary current of both transformers will not remain the same, and one resultant current will flow through the current coil of the differential relay, which will actuate the relay and inter-trip both the primary and secondary circuit breakers. At maximum through fault current, the spill output produced by the small percentage unbalance may be substantial. Therefore, differential protection of transformer should be provided with a proportional bias of an amount which exceeds in effect the maximum ratio deviation. Generally, differential protection is provided in the electrical power transformer, rated more than 5 MVA. The differential protection of transformer has many advantages over other schemes of protection. 1. The faults occur in the transformer, inside the insulating oil, can be detected by Buchholz relay. But if any fault occurs in the transformer, but not in oil then it cannot be detected by Buchholz relay. Any flash over at the bushings are not adequately covered by Buchholz relay. Differential relays can detect such type of faults. Moreover, Buchholz relay is provided in transformer for detecting any internal fault in the transformer, but differential protection scheme detects the same in more faster way. 2. The differential relays normally response to those faults which occur inside the differential protection zone of transformer. So, there you have it. Differential protection is the unsung hero of electrical engineering, safeguarding our equipment and systems from internal faults. It's a vital concept that ensures the reliability and safety of our electrical infrastructure. If you found this video informative and valuable, don't forget to check out our previous videos on transformers and restricted earth fault protection. They provide essential context and knowledge that complements what you've learned today. Thank you for joining us today on Electrology. I hope you found this video on differential protection both educational and engaging. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, please leave them in the comments below. And if you haven't already, Please consider subscribing to Electrology and hitting that notification bell so you never miss an update from us. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the fascinating world of electrical engineering.